one of the other issues, and I and um, and I've, I've talked to some of the victims also. Uh, in addition to wanting to know why people aren't being held to account, one of the things that's often missing in these settlements is either a an admission of guilt or b very often um, a evidentiary record of exactly what happened. In other words, so so often in settlements, it's like well no fault, um, and, and, and the evidence is buried. That's one thing that comes out in the trial is the truth. So talk a little bit about that, if you would. You're exactly right, Please. Alex. I think the frustration for these families, and there's so many of them across the country who have been touched by this epidemic, is that yes, there have been big settlements, and those that money will be going forward to help communities. But there's been no apology no accepting of responsibility by any of these company executives. In fact, the companies deny responsibility. They've, they've, they they will have agreed to pay the money, but they've denied responsibility. And that is really difficult for the families. And I would just add that there was just a, a recently a trial in West Virginia about a week ago where the judge ruled for the distributors and against West Virginia. Um, and the parents feel in that case, uh, so that it was such a miscarriage of justice for this to happen in, at the in the episode epicenter of the opioid epidemic. 